Hello, this is Dr. Wrench. Just looking out my bedroom window here. Um, video coming out up here is my eight year old daughter putting a computer together. Just the main components CPU, uh, video card, plugging in some stuff, RAM. Um, she had been rehearsed on to do it. Obviously, you got to show them how to do it the first time because it's just video it the first time. There could be accidents that could be painful, actually. She only, she only pushed a RAM stick in once and pushed the video card in once and she was ready to go. CPU's going fairly easy. They just line up one way. Um, and we rolled and there was no editing. It, it, it is what it is. Um, I'm sure people could do a better job, make it look fantastic with awesome songs and flashing lights, long pink hair and useless trivia in between. Blah, blah, fucking blah. So the video was coming up. Uh, she's eight year old, third grader. And yeah, I don't think it's been done yet. I don't think anybody in school has done it yet. Not that it's a big deal, but uh, maybe, maybe very shortly I'll have her assisting on assembling an engine. Yeah, something cool. Yeah, putting a big block V8 together with daddy. Now that would be cool. Oh, yeah, and having her starting it up for the first time with the big ass cam and all that fucking compression. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, I'm running on to the long video that's about to come. So, my eight year old daughter putting an old computer together and it booted up as you will see. It's raw, it's rough, it's not rehearsed, it's not perfect. It is real. Hello, YouTube. This is. Dr. Wrench on YouTube, obviously. We are looking at a computer that is partially disassembled. The reason it's partially disassembled is because my eight year old is going to put it back together and boot it up to the BIOS. I did make sure this computer was working yesterday before I disassembled it. I built this computer in 2001 ish, 2001 ish, 2002 ish. My eight year old is in third grade and her name is Liz. Uh, and we're going to show that she is the first kid in her school to do this. Be it kind of nerdy, it is kind of cool that an eight-year-old can put a computer together. So in just a few moments, we will begin in, uh, in installing it. The only thing she won't be doing is putting the heat sink onto the CPU because these old uh, socket four, 462s were a nightmare to put heat sinks on. Some were easy, some were just plain ridiculously hard. This one's not too bad, but she's not going to be able to do it. And I really don't think there is too many eight-year-olds who could do a socket 462. So we'll be back momentarily. I am putting the CPU in. And she's pushing the Ow. retainer bar down, and she clipped it in, and she got an owie. Not that it's a big deal. It usually just grabs the nail. I'm going to attempt to put a P-sized dot on the CPU. Not that I can see it, but we'll see the result when she gets done. This is 24 karat diamond CPU goo. Yes, it actually has real diamonds in it. So I'll try not to make too much money. She's had real issues doing this. She might have some kind of shaking neurological issue thing going on. I don't know. And I'm not sure that's going to be quite enough. I will fix it up here in just a little second and then put the CPU cooler... Okay, I'm going to put this old CPU cooler on it. I just added just a little bit more. It is really thick goo, and she shakes a lot for some reason when she's doing it. But other than that, she got it pretty good. Um, the CPU cooler latches over there, and these are really a bitch. Um, I would pay to see an 8-year-old be able to do this without slipping real bad with putting it on. So I'm going to put this on in place of it, but other than that, she'll be doing the rest. Okay, I have the CPU cooler on. It actually went on easier. This was attempted once before and it did not want to go on so I had to clean all the surfaces up and put the CPU cooler back on. So here it is on. I haven't plugged her in. The kid will do that. So we're going to start with the next part. We're going to have her install the RAM. Alright, here she goes. She's going to install the RAM. She's been told what to do and what to look for. This is a 512 megabyte bar of RAM, very old. And there she has it. Anybody that's put a computer together recognize the little clink of a lock. Now she will install the second bar of RAM. 
Yes, yes, Liz, it's different. Not all rams created equally. Make sure you line up the slot. It should slip down in there. And if it's ready to go, take it back out. Make sure you got the little slot lined up. You probably should turn it around. You gotta pay attention to details. Now see how it slipped further in there? Just push real hard. It'll go, it'll go in. There you go. If you're not sure about the other side, put there you go. Now it's all clipped in. Now she's gonna bring install the video card. And remember how I told you. Slip the one end behind the motherboard, line it up with the brown slot, which is an AGP slot, which is no longer used. Just take your time. Nope, you don't have it lined up. Push it in. You can push it in hard, you're not going to hurt anything. It's our, actually, it's already in. You can tell by the, the little clip that's all the way up right there. You didn't even know you pushed it in all the way. The reason it's wiggling is because it needs to be screwed in. So you, the screw's in the bucket. Not the greatest video, sorry, people. Use that screwdriver. You can talk louder, Liz. You have to ask a question. Everybody asks questions. This is her first time putting together, so she, she should have questions to ask. Though she's intelligent and has seen me put so many computers together, this is quite honestly like second nature. Just doing it the first time is kind of scary. If it's a little tough going in, that's fine. It isn't going to move. That's good. You don't got to worry about that. It's good. It's not, go it's not going to go anywhere. Quite honestly, you don't even need a video card to boot up. So now, um, she wants, well, she picked up the ribbon cable. She wants to try to install the ribbon cable. This she has actually never done. Other times, she has actually practiced putting pieces in this just last night. But the ribbon cable will be her first time. So, what you're going to do is... Is that recording? Yes, it is recording. The ribbon cable only goes in one way. And you, pro and you haven't really seen how to do this. See the notch there? There's a uh -huh. notch right there. So, this end here... Uh -huh. Go, which is actually the high speed IDE cable, but it can't go there. Look at that. It's it has to go on the blue one. Nope. Actually, you'd have to take the video card out and reinstall the video card because this is in the way of it. So, the, so we're not going to worry about that. Didn't even pay attention to that. No big deal. We don't need the DVD player. I forgot about that. You okay, now this plug. This plug, you know where it goes because you actually pulled it out, which was really hard, but. That's the main power supply for the motherboard. Okay, it's all the way in. Push, push, make sure it's all the way in. Yeah, I forgot that that video card, the IED cable, kind of got in the way of it, but no big deal. Um, let's see. You don't need to plug that in any place. Take that plug there. It goes to this plug here. You have to watch how you line it up. It's pretty much lined up with the way it slides in. That turns the CPU fan on when the computer boots up. And this is a pretty basic general build. I am sure others from her school probably will attempt to pretty quickly put other more detailed videos up. That's fine. Um, let's see. You've got you've got the what is this called, Liz? RAM. No. Video card. This is the RAM. That's the CPU. That's all this computer needs to boot up to BIOS. That's all it needs. Yes, Liz, but we can't hook Actually, you can hook it up. We'll just put it there. So get the cable again. Plug the blue end into this end here. Just with, It's only going to go one one way. When you push the old IED cables in, you got to be careful. You do not bend the little teeth or prongs. They will bend very easily, and they break easily. Make sure it's lined up, and just push her in. She's only going to go so far in. Now... That's going to be a little tough because you're going to have to look back into here and the notch is at the top. So carefully line it up with the notch at the top. Normally this this ID cable would go where the video card's blocking, but I didn't pay attention to what she did. She's got it plugged in. She's all the way in. Now, to make it work, you want to power it up. So plug this one, that right there, into, it only goes in one way. Right yep, it goes in only one way. 
Look at that goes in a lot easier than it wanted to come out of there. That hasn't been removed in a long time. Make sure it's in evenly. Push it in evenly. All right, let's see. And this computer is ready to boot up. There really wasn't much to this computer to boot up the BIOS. Um, we just have to hook a keyboard, monitor, and a mouse up, and we're going to boot it up. And you shouldn't be playing with things down on the keyboard, Liz. You can damage them. Typical of an eight-year-old wants to play with things. <laughs> Okay, we'll be booting the computer up momentarily. So the video's kind of dark, but Kid's going to hook it up to get her to boot up. So she's going to plug in the power supply feed, which is just an electrical wire. And let's see if she can do it. Let's see how tight it is. Oh, she had it all the way in just about. Now she's going to plug in the lead to the monitor. goes in one way I told her not to force it because you can break those leads pretty easily and she's going to screw in just the one side of it which will make it tight enough to not worry about okay that's tight now plug them in plug both the computer and the monitor in behind you there and that's not too hard to do though she did have a problem plugging things in earlier there goes the flashlight Okay, everything's plugged in. And now, and now, no, no, plug in the plug in the keyboard, which we'll just leave on top of the box. Plug in the keyboard. Goes to the purple serial port. So find the purple serial port, which I had to fix this keyboard because it was sold. I had to fix the connection to it yesterday. Because it was crushed. And then an ancient old fashioned mouse. I don't know where that plugs in. Yep. She's right used to plug in the purple one. Yep. Self explanatory. They made things color coordinated for idiots who couldn't figure out where things went a long time ago. Yeah. All right, now we're going to come over here to the. Why isn't the monitor on? It was on. Is it on? Yeah, okay, there you go. Now, push the button to boot the computer up. Pretty loud in there. It's just a CPU fan. Don't know why it's loud. Not going to worry about it. Okay, we're going to have to... Oh, now... The, the switch was on. The, now, now, the infant... This is what kids do when they don't listen. They turn things off when they shouldn't. She wasn't doing what she was told. And this is the problem with all kids. They think they can do it all. So they, they run three steps ahead of you. And all, what she did is turn the power supply switch off, which a lot of computers don't have these days. So see, not knowing, she flicked the power supply computer switch off without asking first. So let's go into something that could have happened. She could have damaged the computer if it had a hard drive. Catastrophic failure. That, that, that doesn't happen many, many times. Now she walked away because she's upset. No. This is the problem with kids doing things. They don't ask questions. So... We're going to reboot the computer to a very noisy CPU fan. She wasn't that noisy yesterday, but that's okay. It just only has to boot up to a run condition. And it's going to see that there's no hard drive there, so it's going to say, hey, something's wrong. And we're going to go to F1 Setup, which most people don't even know how. And this is what you call the BIOS. And since this is an old CRT monitor, it's going to have the flicker. And let's go here, Event CPU Setup, Arrange BIOS Setup, and that's where, that's where us people that know who, even this old computer, I could make run a lot faster than it was designed to. Um, we go to the Feature Setups, let's go to CPU, and here it says it's an AMD K7 Athlon XP running at 100, uh, 100 speed CPU. Yeah, 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 but here we could go into here. Let's go back. Um, exit out. Right here. All your typical stuff. Most of the stuff in most computers these days, we would shut off for more uh, power to be 
for like the video card. Most of the stuff is useless. Serial yeah. ports are pretty useless. Um, monitor, hardware monitor. Let's see, the CPU is running at about 70 degrees, or 86 degrees right there Fahrenheit. That's actually pretty warm for this computer. But anyways, so the, C the computer that the daughter put together, just a few of the main components. I am sure there will be a video or something put up quite shortly to try to say she didn't do all that great of a job. But uh, we know who that will be. <laughs> I have actually a uh, fan here when there was a hard drive. It still works. Blue cool air on the hard drive there. That's a pretty noisy fan. Maybe when I blew some dust out of the damn thing, I made it made it work worse. <laughs> She's working. So, CPU, RAM, plug in some power wires, video card, plug it in the boot up. All simple stuff. Wow, that's a dinosaur. We don't even use these anymore. We don't even use these old style connectors. <laughs> Damn. 2001-ish computer.